It's history, unpacking common English phrases. Hello, dear viewers. Today, we're diving into a common English phrase that's packed with meaning. It's history. Stick around as we explore its uses and nuances, and by the end, you'll be using it like a native speaker. When someone says, it's history, they're not just talking about events from the past. This phrase has a colloquial meaning. It's used to indicate that something is over, finished, or no longer relevant. It's like saying, that's in the past, and it doesn't matter anymore. Let's look at some examples to see its history in action. After fixing a problem, we found the bug in the code, and now it's history. Following a breakup, we broke up. It's history, and I'm ready to move on. When something is replaced, I got a new laptop. The old one? It's history. In each of these situations, the phrase signifies that the speaker has moved beyond the mentioned issue or item. Sometimes, saying, it's history, can also carry a tone of relief or finality. It's often used when someone has overcome a challenge or is glad to be done with a situation. However, it can be insensitive if the topic is still important to someone else involved in the conversation. It's crucial to know when not to use this phrase. Avoid it in serious or sensitive contexts, like discussing historical events or personal traumas. In these cases, saying, it's history, could be seen as dismissive or disrespectful. And that's a wrap on, it's history. We hope this video has shed light on this expressive phrase. Remember, language is not just about grammar. It's about context and emotion too. Thanks for watching, and we hope you'll join us for more English language explorations.